Bien, vamos a corregir el error aquí. Sería 3D, el libro de ustedes, el de noveno, disculpen. Vamos a ver, acá dice, I have to go. Vamos acá, dice, listen, read the titles, in case the meaning of the phrases in bold. Las frases que están en negrita, ustedes las van a copiar en el cuaderno y las van a poner, les van a agregar el significado. ¿Sí? Agregar el significado en la primera tarea. Escribir las palabras en negrita y escribir el significado. Aquí lo que vamos a hacer es escuchar, leer y repetir. 3B. I have to go. Vocabulary. 1. Hey, do you have a minute? Sure. What's up? I just wanted to ask you if you want to come to the game with us tomorrow. I'm sorry, I can't. How about some other time? Of course. Two. Hey, Kevin. Imagine seeing you here. Hi, Mark. I haven't seen you since college, and now here we are in the same building. Well, it's a small world. I have to go, but say hi to Mary for me. Three. Can you help me move the couch tomorrow? It depends. What time do you need me? Around four. I'm sorry, I have a doctor's appointment. Never mind, it's fine. I'll ask Ben. Bien, ahora sería acá. Bien, vamos a continuar acá. Dice, lea los tres diálogos. Esto ya lo hicimos. Pero van a copiar lo que está en negrita y eso podemos poner el significado. Acá dice, lea los tres diálogos rápidamente y ponlos en el orden correcto. Escribe uno al tres. Luego escucha y revisa tus respuestas. Read. A. Hey, Molly. Would you like to go for coffee this afternoon? Sorry, I have to go to the dentist. I have an appointment at 5.30. All right. I'll call Steve. Good luck. Hi, Steve. Would you like to go for coffee with me this afternoon? I'd like to, but I have to help my friend Tracy. You see, she's leaving for Boston tonight, and she has to finish a presentation. Sorry. I see. Never mind. Maybe another time. Yes, okay. I have to go, Patrick. Ask Jason. Maybe he's free. Okay, bye. Hey, Jason. Are you doing anything this afternoon? Not really. Would you like to go for coffee? Why not? That sounds good. Great. Let's meet at Tommy's Coffee Shop at 5.30. Could we make it a bit later? Sure. What about 6 o'clock? Okay. See you then. Read. A. Hey, Molly. Would you like to go for coffee this afternoon? Sorry, I have to go to the dentist. I have an appointment at 5.30. All right. I'll call Steve. Good luck. Thanks. Bye. Hello? Hi, Steve. Would you like to go for coffee with me this afternoon? I'd like to, but I have to help my friend Tracy. You see, she's leaving for Boston tonight, and she has to finish a presentation. Sorry. I see. Never mind. Maybe another time. Yes, okay. I have to go, Patrick. Ask Jason. Maybe he's free. Okay, bye. Hey, Jason. Are you doing anything this afternoon? Not really. Would you like to go for coffee? Why not? That sounds good. Great. Let's meet at Tommy's Coffee Shop at 5.30. Could we make it a bit later? Sure. What about 6 o'clock? Okay. See you then. Read. A.
Hey, Molly, would you like to go for coffee this afternoon? Sorry, I have to go to the dentist. I have an appointment at 5.30. All right, I'll call Steve. Good luck. Thanks, bye. Hello? Hi, Steve. Would you like to go for coffee with me this afternoon? I'd like to, but I have to help my friend Tracy. You see, she's leaving for Boston tonight, and she has to finish a presentation. Sorry. I see. Never mind. Maybe another time. Yes, okay. I have to go, Patrick. Ask Jason. Maybe he's free. Okay, bye. Hey, Jason. Are you doing anything this afternoon? Not really. Would you like to go for coffee? Why not? That sounds good. Great. Let's meet at Tommy's Coffee Shop at 5.30. Could we make it a bit later? Sure. What about 6 o'clock? Okay. See you then. Bueno, vamos a regresar acá. Tenemos, tenemos que ponerle, poner los números. Dice, escucha, lee, dice. Los tres diálogos rápidamente y ponlos en el orden correcto. Escribe 1 al 3. Es el primero. Aquí tenemos el segundo. Aquí tienen que ir poniendo ustedes. Este sería el 3. Acá, perdón, sería el 2. Number 2. Number 3. está. Number 1. Ok. Number 1. Then, lea de nuevo y escribe lo que las siguientes personas están haciendo esta tarde. Patrick is meeting Jason at 6 o'clock at Tommy's Coffee Shop for coffee. Jason is going for coffee with Patrick. Still, is helping his friend Tracy finish her presentation. Tracy is finishing her presentation. Molly is going to the dentist at 5.30. Bien, vamos acá. The verb have to. El verbo have to. She has a big house. Ella tiene una casa grande. So, she has to do a lot of housework. Así que tiene muchos quehaceres. They have new computer. Ellos tienen una computadora nueva. They have to learn how to use it. Tienen que aprender cómo usarla. Affirmative. I have to go. Me tengo que ir. I have to es tener que. Con I, we, you, they, yo voy a usar have. Y con he, she, it, es decir, tercera persona singular, yo voy a usar has. ¿Sí? Ahora bien, entonces yo quiero decir, me tengo que ir, I have to go. Tenemos que irnos, we have to go. Él tiene que irse, he has to go. Usamos how to y has to para expresar obligación en el presente y en el futuro. I have to wash the car today. Tengo que lavar el carro este día. El, the past tense, el pasado de have to, es had to, y expresa una obligación en el pasado. Este es el pasado de have to. Veamos. Lea las situaciones 1 a las 5 y escribe lo que las personas tienen que hacer. Utiliza los verbos de la caja. Kathy is taking a history exam tomorrow. She doesn't remember much. Kathy has to study for exam. Kathy va, eh, va a tomar un examen de historia mañana y no recuerda mucho. Kathy tiene que estudiar para su examen. Tom has to pay some bills. Tom tiene que pagar algunas cuentas, pero él no tiene nada de dinero. Tom has to go to the bank. But Tom tiene que ir al banco. Neil and Margaret are hungry. Neil and Margaret están hambrientos. But there isn't enough food in the refrigerator. Pero no hay comida en el refrigerador. Neil and Margaret have to go and buy food. Neil and Margaret tienen que ir y comprar comida. Nicole can't eat or sleep. She doesn't feel well. Nicole no puede comer o dormir. No se siente bien. Nicole has to go to the doctor. Nicole tiene que ir al doctor. Ian can drive a car, but he needs a car to get to work. Ian no puede conducir un carro, pero necesita un carro para ir al trabajo. Ian has to learn how to drive. Tiene que aprender a conducir. Bien, listen to, vamos a escuchar una conversación entre dos amigos. Neil Lorna decide si las oraciones son verdaderas o falsas. Listen. Listen to a conversation between two friends, Nigel and Lorna, and decide if the statements are true or false. Hi, 
Hi, Lorna. What's up? Hi, Nigel. Hey, listen. I've invited a couple of friends over tonight. We're going to watch a movie and maybe order Chinese or something. Then later, we're going to go clubbing. Would you like to come with us? Thanks, Nigel, but I don't think so. The house is a mess. I have to do a few things. You know, do the dishes, clean my room, wash some clothes, that sort of thing. Why do you have to do all that tonight? My parents are coming to visit tomorrow, so the house has to be perfect. That's a shame, because we're going to have a great time. Okay, okay, don't make me feel bad. Oh, sorry. Listen, here's what we're going to do. I'll come over to your house with the guys to help you out. That way we'll finish quickly so you can come clubbing with us. Really? Are you sure the others won't mind? Nah, it'll be fun. Listen, Jack and Julie are coming over at 6, so we'll be at your house at about 6.30. Great, and thanks again, Nigel. Don't mention it. Okay, Nigel and friends. True. Lorna has to do the housework. The house is a mess. True. Lorna parents are arriving. Tonight, false. Nigel wants to help Lorna. True. Nigel is meeting his friend at 6 30. False. Next, ahí tenemos el transcrito de la grabación. Esto lo vamos a dejar pendiente. Vamos a hacer ya sea en. en no sería en actividad, porque vamos si hicimos esto, si ya lo hicimos, ¿verdad? Bueno, esto ya lo hicimos, entonces creo que no queda más. Lo demás lo vamos a hacer, este, lo vamos a hacer en, en, al llegar a la escuela, primero Dios, en, ya en septiembre, agosto, y de lo contrario, vamos a hacer estas actividades que quedan pendientes. Las que queden pendientes, pues las vamos a tener que hacer eh, en Google Classroom de repaso, ¿sí? Estas ya las hicimos también. Creo que eso sería todo. La actividad extra, dice, esta la vamos a hacer después. La vamos a hacer en Google Plazo o en la escuela. Bien, hasta aquí llegaríamos entonces. Ahí van a disculpar la confusión. Ok, good afternoon. Buenas tardes porque a esta hora me tocó hacerlo.